Puppies. <laughs> we got two of them here. We've got Ron here from Petland. And today we're talking about how to kindly train your pets, the ABCs of good training. We're going to hit, well, first off, we have, uh, well, this is a mix mm -hmm. uh, in my arms. So a Papillon mixed with a Pomeranian, and that is a wow. That is really a uh, beautiful dog. Gorgeous, and then you yeah. have a Spaniel, a so it's a spaniel. Cavalier King Charles. A little so it's got girl. a little nobility in it. Yeah, look, I mean, look at that regal face. She knows it. So what we're going to talk about is just two aspects of training that this is like the beginning type okay. things. And like you, you can pick them up from Petland and here we go. And here we go. And so the first thing that we want to do is just roll them over on their backs. And here we're okay. doing this live and okay. things will happen and we just don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Especially now. with these little puppies. So you're going to hold them right around okay. the shoulder area and while you're getting that figured out. Okay, so both of them are pretty relaxed. Here yours, the legs are straight up in the back. Uh -huh. As you go more and more, mine are already doing it. I, I call it the frog legs. They're okay. going to become more and more relaxed. What we're doing right now is showing that we are okay, we're not going to hurt you, life is beautiful, and they just take a little bit to figure this out. So these are actually, oh, they're both they're, you're doing little whimpers. <laughs> they don't like it, but they're doing it. <laughs> they're going, what's this all about? Hi, this is a vulnerable spot for them. Mm -hmm. So like in the wild, a dog would not do this because now their bellies mm -hmm. are up. Um, we're not doing it to hurt them or anything like that, and they're perfectly <laughs> fine, no matter what they they're say. They're not getting hurt right now, don't worry. And so um, over time, they're going to understand that we're in charge and they're not. And so this is a nice way of doing it. So it's, the important thing is, is to hold them at the shoulder, like right underneath the armpit. And not, like if they want to turn over, you go, no, no, okay. and you just hold on. Oh, we got some, <laughs> we got some cry babies today. I know, All right. you're fine. So again, that's something that if you see your dog doing this, it's okay. okay. Nobody's hurting, anything like that. And a little bit of kicking right now she's, is she's okay. A stubborn one. She's a stubborn but I'm going to do something now different okay. with yours. Okay. As soon as yours relaxes, okay. I want you to turn it back over again. So, like right about now. When they're relaxed, now is a good time to let them back over. You turned them over on your terms as opposed to their terms. So, if they were oh, saying, I want to turn over, I want to turn over, and you turn them over, they just won the battle, uh -huh. so to speak. And she's so, quieter this time. Yeah. yeah, and that's and you'll the more you do this, the easier it is. Okay. My little one at home started to do this, wiggled, wiggled, wiggled. I was like, holy cow! <laughs> and I just ignored her for about fifteen minutes, and she finally fell asleep in this case. It's like real babies, like yep. little human babies, yeah. The next day that we did it, so that was only 15 minutes of training. That's all we okay. did, the rest of it was all play. Next day we did it, um, she was only about five minutes. The second, or the third day, I picked up my little Susie, mm. I put her in my arms, and she just sunk right into Aww. my arms like a baby. She understood life is okay, she's not gonna be hurt. Mm -hmm. We're showing them that we're safe. Uh, and that we're in charge here. And so that's how, that's the first move okay. of that. Do we have any? We have like a minute left, okay. less than a minute. <laughs> Power of a treat, and we can go into this next time, okay. is phenomenal. The key to treat okay. training is you have to give them the treat when they're doing what you want them to do. You can't wait till they come back in the door if you're oh. doing potty training. So if this little one. So immediately when they go to the bathroom. While they're treat. doing it, I oh. have that treat in their nose while they're doing the little potty issue. So so that they understand, oh, I get a treat when I'm doing this. And you can start translating, uh, translating that to other things. Okay. So sitting, if they're sitting, you go sit. And if they're sitting, give them a treat. But that's the only time they get a treat if they're sitting and you say sit. It's got to be immediate. If you wait five seconds, 10 seconds, they think whatever they're doing at that point. So literally okay. coming in the doorway, you give them a treat. They think coming in the doorway is oh, why they're getting the treat. Okay. They'll literally go back out and come back in once they start seeing the pattern. So the treat is so powerful. You just got to use it correctly. The or power of the treat. The power of the treat. If you got any questions about training or the power of the treat, or if you're interested in either one of these little cuties, you can head over to Petland. They'll take care of you. It's now 7:38, and we'll be right back. We've got Cedar Ridge in the house, and they've got a popular New Orleans Mardi Gras drink that you can try out. You've probably never heard about it.